In my opinion, Rod Humble could be Let's Player on YouTube. No, I'm not joking at all. He showed to all of us so much gameplay elements from Live by You in the last video, and I'm so happy about knowing many things from the gameplay. I'm Shin Finds Pixels, and welcome to the weekly news about Live by You. I was fascinated in the beginning by the character creator, not about how to make character, but about some more details are being shown. I have question regarding the personalities. I would love to know more about personalities aka traits. We saw personalities like turbulent childhood or rural upbringing or the typical cheerful trait. I'm curious how they will work in life by you. You know, like how exactly they will impact our gameplay in interactions with other humans. I feel so strange to call them humans too. I still hope Paradox will name them as something else, you know. I find that personalities will be very important factor in the game in general because that future will reflect a lot our humans and their style or as whole personality, you know. Like in real life, we all of us have some traits and from that we have the personality as person, you know, like human being. If you remember in The Sims 2 when you started your household before The Sims 3 release, then you will remember remember the spectacular gift from Rod himself, right? Then in Life by You this future is back and finally we know what the gift is about. It will be starter gift with some randomly generated items by the game itself. And to be honest, I like that idea. Starting off can be tricky for some players and having small items to start with is actually amazing. I like this small detail. It's giving Life by You its own personality and style. What I mean by that in the first video we saw that life by you looked very generic but after some time it does start showing its own unique identity which I'm super happy about and I'm always for a game having its own fun style not only in graphics department but mainly in the gameplay department it shows that the game is made by people who are passionate about the game but full of heart it is only my opinion but I am really super hyped about the game so far. Rod later on was deciding where to travel with his human. He decided to visit downtown and he used the world map. Amazing people, the map reminds me so much Sims 3 style. Really it does and I can't help myself but I still keep thinking that life by you is somehow influenced by the Sims 3 in small way but in the meaningful way, you know. I still have hopes that the blurriness will get better in the time being. But at the same time, Rod mentioned that these gameplay videos are a bit older, so it's actually not the recent footage. You can also see funny warnings by Rossio, like uh, some of the features will get improved and so on. One of the most important things what is mentioned by Rod Humble, that you can't drive car if you're human they drink alcohol, which is super immersive in all honest. And why is that so cool? It's giving the game so much realism which we did not see much in the sims games and it makes life by you very unique in the live sim genre imagine your human go to club and you are drunk but you can't drive the car you will need to walk all the way home can you imagine the chaotic gameplay i mean it in the goofy funny way of course when Rod Humble was traveling to the restaurant in the gameplay video, he was showing us bus stops. He mentions that there are only two bus stops, but you can add more if you want to. But what caught my attention is that the buses are tourist buses for tourists. My question is, can we use the buses ourselves to with our humans, or is that more of decorative function to populate the world? I guess we will need to wait for more gameplay footage about it, but it would have been cool to travel via buses either perhaps with subway you know in the future what do you think amazing people would you like to travel in the town via public transportation or am i the only one here I was very surprised by the menu. We can see that we will have kind of profile of our human and it shows also skills tab, social tab, quest tab and edit tab. You can see that we can post certain activities on social media in the social tab, which I think is pretty cool idea. Also Rossio did mention via edited text that the look of the menu will get skilled in better style in the near future. In all honest, I like the UI of live 
by you personally. It may look so simple to you, but it does show everything in the simple way and it does not look chaotic. As example, when I am playing sometimes Sims 4, the UI can be chaotic at times, especially when Maxis is adding, adding so many things via expansions. So I personally like the live by you style of UI. It's colored well and it's in own style for the game itself. Afterwards, Rod was interacting with one of the humans in the downtown and oh my goodness gracious amazing people, Rod was so funny and passionate about it. I was a little bit skeptical two months ago about when conversation system based on the real language was shown, but when I saw the gameplay by Rod, I did really start liking it, because it was shown really from the raw gameplay and commentary, and I can say it works well for life by you. The conversation system seems to work into bigger complex like any other paradox games in their universe and I am looking forward to try it out myself in September. It is also important to mention that we can toggle the camera to zoomed out position or into the third person. So my question from previous videos got answered which I am actually happy about it. Are you also excited to the real conversation system amazing people and if yes do you have any suggestion for paradox tectonic? What could get improved and added to it? Let me know in the comments. I would be happy to share your thoughts to Paradox Tectonic on their social media. Before Rod was sending his human back to home from the trip in the downtown, he mentioned he wanted to collect seashells and do some crafting. But then he decided that he will show us crafting next time. This made me so much curious. How the crafting will work in life by you? Will we have kind of crafting tables or will we have some tools like you know hammer or these little things for crafting. I'm type of player who does really enjoy crafting in any live sim game or RPG game personally. As example I would spend hours just crafting things in Stardew Valley you know. Really I do enjoy this future and I'm looking forward to know about it more. Are you curious too about the crafting? Do you enjoy yourself crafting in games in general or is that kind of activity that annoys you? About the traveling I like the road and the bridge. When a road was sending human back via car the scenery looks really beautiful but I could not ignore the small lags or optimization issues again. It was not that big but you could clearly see there are some small hiccups. I hope it is only the early build stage of performance and that early access version will have much better performance in general. But let's not speculate as Paradox still have some time to improve these issues, right? Oh my goodness gracious amazing people, when the human did arrive back to home then Rod Humble decided to do some shopping but via notebook. You hear right, we will be able to do online shopping but hey it's more complex. There are many types of shops from the furniture to gardening stuff. As an example if you would like to do more realistic gameplay and decorate your home not via build by mode, you can basically order stuff online and all the furniture will get delivered to your lot and then you can decorate your home. I can imagine myself do that personally. This is really giving me so much creative ideas for my gameplay stories. What are your thoughts about that? Will you use this function often? If so, which type of things you will buy most often in your game? And of course, before the day ends, Rod was showing a little bit of cooking in Life by You. Rocio mentioned again as big warning that they will get us through cooking into more detail when the UI will be more polished and representative. But from what ca we can see that we will need to have ingredients to cook meals. But Rod mentioned that you can buy groceries instantly if you want to and do not feel like to be buffered to order groceries by delivery. I will personally enjoy to have more complex for cooking as I would like to make some of the humans which will have the chef career in one of my gameplays you know. And I'm curious about how cooking will work in the way of skill. We still do not know exactly how skills in general will work in life by you. We only know so far as example that if our human will hear someone talking about cooking or other hobby activity then our human will get increased in experience for that set skill. But I do think it will be more complex than we saw so far which I really welcome as 
if the base game features will offer us uh, more depth in all the systems then their replayability will be much more refreshing in general right amazing people i could not ignore also one funny moment from the video when a rod was sending his human to bathroom to take the shower he was a bit naughty naughty of course you naughty naughty you teasing me you naughty 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 <laughs> of course for the funsies he was hiding human from nudity because we all know that youtube does not like it <laughs> of course a small but yet meaningful thing as gameplay future that we will be able to do is laundry in the base game i do understand it it is not too fascinating but i think it needs to be mentioned i personally like these small things to do in the games because again it does give so replayability in the typical daily gameplay sometimes you know it is fun just to relax take care of your home and do daily course what do you think amazing people do you welcome these small gameplay activities to do in the residential lot in your gameplay i personally enjoyed covering this let's play by rod humble amazing people i find rod uh, so much fun to listen and watch i can see that rod really does care about us who wants to play live by you from september he wants us to share our feedback to his team and i personally got again reassured that live by you is gonna be really unique and outstanding game on its own i do not look on live by you as the sims competitor much at the moment but as the game that can do many new things we never have seen in live sims games in general and i look on live by you from perspective as a new player who wants to play different live simulation game than the sims and i'm beyond excited to be around this game and cover all the things to all of you and i want to thank all of you for the support watching these videos you are making my dreams to happen and Rod, if you are watching please i do hope to do one day interview with you as you are you inspiration for my videos and for live simulation games in general since I was child I want to thank you everyone so much for watching if you did enjoy watching this video make sure to give it a huge massive thumbs up and if you are new here please consider to hit that subscribe button and I will see you amazing people really soon so have a beautiful morning afternoon evening night wherever you live and I will see you all of you really soon bye